Today's video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to air dry your hair the right way. So make sure to like this video. Let's start the air drying routine right now. Let me just break up here. Air drying your hair is not just getting out of the shower, towel drying your hair, and that's it. No. A good air drying routine begins in the shower. And the first step into this routine is gonna be never skipping a deep conditioning hair mask before getting out of the shower. Because conditioning is gonna help your hair to gain back the hydration lost from shampooing. When it's time to rinse the hair mask, do it with cold water to keep the hydration in the hair at the end of your shower, which is extremely important in order to reduce as much freeze as possible. So, I really don't know what's going on with my hair right now. I just washed my hair, it's just like fresh out of the shower and it looks like this. Should I be worried? It's quite cold. So maybe it's frozen? All right, now that you are out of the shower, I'll get dressed leave hair as it is because we're gonna begin with the second step which is towel drying your hair the right way when you towel dry your hair you need to avoid rubbing twisting or wrapping your hair with your towel leaving it like this and just going around the house with your towel i know it feels great stop it and also you need to stop using your regular towel on your hair that's another big no no since all these habits are only gonna lead you to breakage and a lot of frizz fabric of the regular towels are really rough they're gonna cause the cuticles to raise up and that's what frizz, that's what puffiness, that's what a lot of breakage damage problems happens. What you want to do is to gently squeeze or pat your hair to drain as much water as possible. Ideally using a microfiber towel, but if you don't have one, you can use an old t-shirt. Both of these are gonna be way more delicate with the hair cuticle while we towel dry. If you have wavy or curly hair, what you want it to do is to gently scrunch your hair hair in this way. Each hair type needs to reach a certain level of dryness in this stage before it is okay to brush it or apply products on it. So based on my research, curly hair has to be 40% dry, wavy up to 60% dry, and straight hair needs to be 80% dry before you move on to the next steps. Now as you can see, my hair looks more damn. <laughs> I look a little bit like a mess, but no worries. No worries. This is the perfect time to move on to the third step in this air drying routine, which is applying a product, a hydrating product on your hair. When your hair is at this stage, it is more prone to lose water. And if this happens, your hair could end up looking more puffy, frizzy, dry at the end. What you want to do here is to provide the hydration and nourishment to your hair right away. So the best way to do this is by applying a leave-in conditioner or a hair serum when your hair is damp. This not only is gonna well moisturize your hair, this product will also coat your cuticles preventing moisture from escaping from your hair i've been using this hair milk nourishing and conditioning it's a living moisturizer i know it's meant for curls and coils and i have none of those in my hair but i love the ingredients i love how it leaves my hair so soft once you are done applying your hair products, the next fourth step into this air drying routine is brushing your hair. I know, I know. I feel extremely uncomfortable brushing hair when it's damp, but sometimes it is necessary to do it, especially at this moment, to make sure that there's no tangles and that the products that we just apply get distributed evenly on our hair before it dries. When I do this, I treat my hair like it's glass. When you detangle wet hair, make sure to to only use a white tooth comb or a wet brush since these are less likely to pull and break your hair. To reduce breakage, untangle hair from the ends towards the roots in small sections using gentle pressure like this. Also, it's important for you to part your hair, you know, to do this, whatever the style that you like so that your hair stays in this way until it dries completely. Are you ready to see a little bit of a change in image color? Yeah? Okay. Now that your hair is smooth and detangled, we need to jump right away to the fifth step, which is wrapping your hair. Okay. 
I normally don't do anything fancy Let me show you Or complicated in here All I do is to split hair in two main sections like this And then I just cross over from the bottom And then do the same on the top And to secure the wrap I use a bobby pin in the middle To keep this in place just for one second <laughs> Wrapping your hair before it dries completely is going to make sure to reduce a lot of the puffiness on your hair while it's in the process of air drying. It is super important not to touch your hair while it's getting dry because it could defeat the entire routine. <laughs> so as part of the sixth step into this air drying routine, I will recommend you to cover your hair with a microfiber towel or an old t-shirt if you're only gonna air dry your hair for a few hours. Boy. <laughs> but if you are thinking on air drying your hair overnight, Alright, definitely use a silk cap or a silk scarf to cover your hair as a better option to protect it during the night. Two hours later. Hey guys, it is currently almost 11 o'clock. I just think my hair is dry at this point. I'm just gonna take it off. Oh. And this is how my hair looks the next day, which is very soft, it doesn't have any frizz, and it's super manageable. And the most important thing is that we did not use any heat on our hair. So thank you so much for watching. I love you all. See you next time. Pura vida.